actual showing. Uh, we got the second match of uh, Greg Shaw versus uh, Joe Olson. With me tonight is Mr. Drew. I'm going to call you Drew just because I don't want to Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Drew L is fine. Coffee pass if you like. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like they've already put up the table. So yeah, they already put up the table. Good. We got this one going live. Uh, game two. Uh, Greg won ended up winning the first game by 16. 16, uh, yep. Yeah. And we've got Legend versus ISB. Okay, and for... yeah, and uh, Greg. So Greg is the number one seed. So uh, he got to pick the matches first. Uh, yep. I actually talked to him before this, and just I, I was talking to him, asking him like what what he was playing, and he's like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing Legend because I figured he's going to be on ISB." So. Yep, and here it is, Legend versus ISB. And Joe's playing. It looks like the reload version of ISB. He's starting Imperial enforcement um so we should probably expect to see some uh gideon chilling at the 2-0 letting him play mm -hmm. a lot of uh dudes minus one probably some troopers trooper salt okay so uh i uh, know uh greg just played isb last night yep and i want to say joe joe played a what did joe okay what did joe play <laughs> joe joe played uh chief chirpa's hut mains which is basically a variant on your standard throne room mains and mm -hmm. um and hit go. um the advantage of it over um throne room is you start a 2-0 instead of a 1-0 and you get to play like my father before me okay. so while you don't get the extra force from going first you know you don't get the first force but the course of the game you'll get a couple extra force um both from the 2-0 and from playing force down with um like my father before me mm -hmm. and he was actually tech pretty heavy for isb so he had um the, the big reason why he wanted to play uh luke skywalker jedi knight over rebel scout is because of luke skywalker jedi knight being destiny six and he was really hoping to take greg mm -hmm. by uh no pun intended surprise the surprise assault <laughs> um and and then he also had um saw guerrera and this other mm -hmm. character you can remember he looks like a wolf man to make um... it so that his range couldn't be reduced I, I think it was like lock uh lak something uh, i know somebody in the chat yeah. somebody in the chat could uh, tell me uh we have it looks like we have chris <laughs> kelly jared napolitano john michael uh and uh mht was in the chat a second ago but he just dipped out yeah. so uh, so he he had a deck that was pretty heavily tech for isb but mm -hmm. still um couldn't get there um you know and it kind of shows us a lot of the ways in which isp is just really powerful yeah. and really resilient. so no surprise that joe goes with isp himself um for this game it really mm -hmm. does seem to be the consensus that's the dark side deck or at least the dark side deck that just really doesn't have a clear weakness anywhere yeah um and we saw him uh before before any activation and everything we saw him use uh the death squadron assignment so he grabbed the stalker uh, he Correct has Mustaf yeah. he has got Mustafar and the castle out, so I mean that's a good start. Uh, yeah. He's already got one of his ships, so um, and I like yeah. The Stalker is huge in this matchup. Mm -hmm. the Stalker is such a powerful card. Um, I mean, it really does kind of break the rules of what you can do because you know Greg probably has the Jakku system. Yeah, and you know ISB space when it's really well stacked is really hard to beat. Yeah. Once you get um, Tarkin with Barrack and Pole going, it's really hard to ever clear anything. Yeah. And so if Greg wanted to just, like, chill in, if Greg just wants to satisfy Battle Order, two systems would, you know, because mm -hmm. the, the downside of ISB space is they have to stack up on a single chip. The yeah. Stalker obviously makes it so that you don't have that problem. That's true. Um, interesting enough, like I said, so... Joe, on his first turn, he drew up everything, so he's got 12 cards in his hand. Yep, but he hit all of his activation on turn one. Yeah. The Mustafar, the castle, and the, the one out. Yeah, so this, that's a pretty good start for Joe. Uh, looks like Greg yeah. uh, put Rose back with uh, Brave Resistance. Yep. He's so. going through his deck to figure out what he wants, you know. Um, so this list that Greg has here looks a lot like the, the KTOD list that Baroni and Desai mm -hmm. have uh, played a lot, with particularly the starting of a Rebellions of Built on Hope. So yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I was going to say, because it's Greg is the first person to really get in and play 
legend in a main tournament. Like he was the one who <laughs> last year brought it out to Continentals. I don't and, know if Greg wants everyone to know this necessarily, but I do believe that the list that he played at Nationals that he won Nationals with was um, heavily influenced by Baroni. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember... Yeah, I think Baroni uh, might have given him the list and I had a good conversation. Yeah. With him, so, you know, okay. it's still... It's very much a KTOD pack, but obviously Greg... Okay, so he's already got the saddle out. He got uh, yeah, Luke's hut got as too. well. So Yeah, so... A good, a good turn one. Um, you know, he didn't miss any of his activation on turn one. True. And so, but when it's deployed... Joe didn't forget secret plans this game. That's good. <laughs> Joe is never going to forget sec or, uh, secret plans or aim high again. Or aim high again. Yeah. Right. Okay, and there's Luke. So turn one, Luke's like, right, so pretty good. Great. Uh, excellent turn, or excellent opener for both sides, right? So mm -hmm. Greg had both a 2-0 and a Luke in his reserve. So he didn't draw any... He didn't, his opening hand didn't have any necessary unnecessary cards in his reserve. Yeah. I wonder what kind of... So, again, Greg put Joe on ISB. So I'm wondering yeah. what kind of stuff he has to combat it. Uh, he had to have known that he's he's thinking maybe it's like what kind of space package he has. Maybe he is running yeah. like a card like Tally where you don't yeah. get that insane forfeit buff from yeah. Imperial Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Tally really can help a ton. Um, could potentially make them lose a couple of guys when nobody mm -hmm. might not lose any or just lose one. Um, yeah, I think if you want to fight ISB in space, you... So I think the best route for Legend versus ISB... I mean, they're both kind of doom stacky type decks. True. Right? And so I think Legend needs to feel kind of comfortable with its ground game. Um, you know, yeah. to get its Rose and BB-8 going with like Leia and obviously Ray on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then I think the multiple destinies, assuming he's playing the the thin destiny adder, which I think at least in the KTOD list, that's pretty standard to play a couple yes. of them. Yeah. Um, and so his best shot against ISB would really be to kind of stack up his own space with, you know, Finn and Holdo and then, I'm sorry, Poe, Holdo, and then obviously reacting in Finn. So then you yeah. try to draw about four destinies because this I this version of ISB doesn't have any commands or any ways to limit destinies. True, and and that. that's a good point. Uh, you, you're not going to run. You're not going to see any imp justice because you have Tarkin and you want to be able to cancel destinies. So um, actually, I will say that yesterday Greg's ISB list did have justice in it. So justice oh, is still okay. really good. Um, I mean, keep in mind first of all that Tarkin cancels any destiny. Right, so often on the ground, he's just canceling weapons. And two, obviously, you don't have to pick up Justice if Tarkin mm -hmm. would be good. But Justice is actually often in the list um, for the reasons we were just discussing, which is it's it's the best answer ISB can have to what could potentially break its space. True. Right. So its space is so strong with Tarkin and Barrack and Pole that like the only thing that can clear it is multiple destinies. So one mm -hmm. Justice basically puts a, a whack on that. Okay. So we see Joe just drawing up a bunch of cards. Yeah. No respect for a Grim Tosh here. <laughs> None. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess it's not too surprising. Um, well, obviously, we know that a lot of uh, really good players don't really um, worry too much about that. Um, well, didn't we so see... I, uh, I was going to say, we saw Gray, uh, Joe play Grim Tosh on Greg Joe, yesterday, Joe, and he, Joe did uh, play he missed completely. Yeah, I mean, that was a situation where... Um, Joe was already losing, like the game was mm -hmm. basically over, and he was just playing Grimpash Lost, which probably, okay. you know, help with differential a little bit. Um, obviously very different than the early game situation where a Grimtosh used on an 18-card hand would basically end the game. Mm -hmm. So he's basically telling Greg, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, especially against Legend with its force pile pool. I mean, if, it, if it's oh, got a Grimtosh, yeah. it will find it. So he, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so, no we see, so he's putting back Ray with lightsaber to upload a character. Yep. Uh, we do see, so MHT is in the chat. Uh, Matt, if you're listening right now, do you know when you're going you, when you and uh, Kessling are going to be playing? Just for the I think viewers? The, I think it's Wednesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, or Tuesday okay. and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I, I actually saw. Well, it. hey, if it's 6 p.m. Eastern, we might just uh, forego Hollow Theater and, and stream that. Uh, I know one of the days is Wednesday for sure. Okay, so we're they're playing Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. So, yeah, yeah we'll... Uh, you know what? We'll have you... Uh, if you win, Matt, I'd love to have you on Hollow Theater after 
but we'll see what happens. That'll be a fun week of uh, streaming because Monday yeah. is the uh, OCS draft. Right? Oh yeah, OCS so draft and then and then two mm -hmm. uh, two team W games after that. Yeah, yeah. Two, uh, Monday, as you said, uh, Chris Goglin is going to be hosting the OCS draft. Uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, the sixteen yeah. members who made it into the OCS. Uh, I want to say Paul Myers has the first pick, so it's going to be Paul interesting. Paul Myers has the first pick. Yeah. Yeah, we saw. Um, uh, so we see Greg here. Just uh, he grabbed Finn. So he put back his ready to grab a fin, and now he's drawn a bunch of cards too. Yeah. So not too surprising. That's how the, you know neither of these decks want to go particularly fast against the other one. Yeah. Um, they're both kind of feeling it out. I think ISB would be the best situated one to take a quick sight. Like if Joe wanted to drop a bunch of cards mm -hmm. at a battleground to just flip and start getting a drain of three in or a drain of two in. But the problem is that I think partially Joe's thinking he's got to win by seventeen. Yeah. And so and that's... he's. He's more likely to do that by kind of breaking whatever, um, by breaking open whatever Greg tries to do first, as opposed to mm -hmm. establishing board position first. Yeah, and I like how Joe is, if he has the Moff Gideon, he's respecting a possible R2 by not throwing yep. him down alone. Uh, I do like that. We saw Greg play Rescue in the Clouds and Free yep. Ride and End Our Celebration. Uh, a Sergeant Eskel was revealed from Joe's hand, so we know what that's one of the, uh That's the Hujix guy, right? Yeah. Uh, guy yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Joe really can't just throw down Gideon here. Um, no. I you know, the, the list nowadays are all basically playing 2R2. R2 really does break open mm -hmm. or change the matchup a lot. Oh, In yeah. the sense that, um, you know, it gives a, gives a battleground for light side to go to. Obviously makes Gideon really vulnerable um, while not having to give up. Uh, well, coming a bit coward. What's interesting is Joe has seen Greg put back a, a rose and then mm -hmm. a... Array with lightsaber to grab yep. Finn and Poe. And we know yep. that he has the, the rebellions built on hope, so he's able to pull the profundity. So I think yep. Joe might not want to go to space just yet. Yeah. Like he, he needs to get a doom stack to fight the Poe and everything. Yep. I, but again, like yeah, you I mean, said, it's tough because he can't have obviously two doom stacks. No. Right, and so no. I mean, it, and this is where legend kind of pushes you. You have to pick one or the other. Like, mm -hmm. if you want to have your Tarkin Barrack combo going off somewhere, you got to pick whether you want it on ground or in space. Yeah. The problem with putting it on ground is that there's basically, if you include R2, three battlegrounds out there. So if you go True. first, they're going to go somewhere else. They're going to then drop EB8 in rows, and they're going to bunker up there. So yeah. space is normally the best place to go because of stalker. Right, you can be guaranteed that they get to participate in battles. Yeah. Um, which obviously Greg knows, so that's why Greg goes to his two key space pieces first and grabs mm -hmm. Poe and Finn. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, let leadership is one of the cards you want to grab if you're Joe. I think leadership's the best card. Yeah, I think yeah. leadership's I think the that's, best card. Yeah, it just because um, you know, especially if you can't find justice. So if you can't find justice and leadership letting him out, mm. yet another destiny in space with Holdo is really bad. Um, yeah. Also, you know, Greg probably really wants to play leadership to just tutor up someone, right? And so if True. you were to grab Rescue in the Clouds first, then he could use leadership to start tutoring up Leia, to start tutoring up whoever else he needs, and, you know, yeah. he cycle those around. And, so, that, and that's not knowing, know, like... The population other... prize... Okay. I was going to say, that's not knowing what other kind of uh, characters he, are, he is playing. Like, right. Um, that's the one nice thing about Legend. You could you could fit almost anybody in, and yeah, yeah. I mean, it's normally the standard mains package, obviously without Luke. And, you know, uh, <laughs> and, but and, you know, it, it'll yeah. have a Qui Gon. It often has a, oh, a General Obi is fantastic in the deck. Yeah, right. Um, being able to rebel leadership for him is obviously really powerful. And Joe um, just draws a few. He's got 21, fourteen 21 cards. cards in him. Yeah, that's insane. Blackjack, baby. <laughs> well, Greg's got 16. So, uh, you know, neither one respecting a, a Grimtosh or a Monarch. Um, certainly makes for an yeah. interesting game with followers. And, uh, and so Joe's really... It's tough here, right? It's a tough 
game for him to win. So this is always a challenge with ISP, which is it's a fantastic deck and it wins great and it wins all the time. But winning by a lot <laughs> is hard. It has to put a lot of cards in. Play. Yeah, that's that's one hundred percent true. And I mean, like we saw, Joe or uh, Greg was playing really really well, and he only won by sixteen yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, it, it, that game wasn't honestly in contention after turn like two. Right as soon as Greg spread out to a bunch of different sites and clearly had the gig in hand, like he was able to doom stat. Like he he read Joe having no space. So he mm -hmm. Star Destroyer was just Ozzel and satisfying Battle Order. Doom stacked one site and spread out, clearly having a gig or two. That game was yeah. over. That was, um, yeah. And I talked to Greg afterwards, and he saw the surprise assault on a verification, so he knew to play around it. You know, he knew to potentially grab it so he mm -hmm. can't do it multiple times. He, he, he cold feed it. Um, and that game was over. And so, I mean, and he still only won by 16, right? Yeah. Um, so... And so I, I was going to say, so you and Greg are teammates, correct? We are. Yep. We're on the new allies team, um, <laughs> so, which is a, a basically a clown car of fellows, but we've, you know, kind of been serious, a little bit more serious the last few months. It was originally... I, I've I noticed. It, I, I, it was originally a group that was, uh, I believe, a Minnesota uh, guys. Uh, Mike Kessling knows the background better than I do, but it was started, I think, in part with um, Don Anderson. And um, okay. a group of the guys from Minnesota. Um, and I know, obviously, we're really close with John. Um, yeah. And I'm actually very good friends with Mike Kessling, who's the best fan of my wedding. Um, oh, we nice. originally met We were originally, originally met playing Star Wars cards when we were yeah. 10. And we've been friends for 25 years. Wow. Um, and so when I got back into the game, he got me in the group. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fun group. There's a bit, jokingly, there's you know, six of us and um, about half of us at any given time are kind of taking things seriously. But yeah, we've been... Really excited! You know, really excited to have Greg and Mike. Um, in the yeah. Here. Okay, so we see. Um, so he put Leia Greg. back, and then yep. he grabbed Ray. So he has Ray yep. and Chewie both at the uh, the walkway. So he's got Ray and Chewie in the walkway, and we know that he has Finn in hand. Yep. And um, I, don't, I don't think he's used his once per game pool with the objective. He has not used his once per game pool with the objective yet, um, and. And so this is interesting. I would let's see what he's got. I mean, he's got 14 cards in hand, and Joe's got 21 cards in hand, right? So yeah. he is definitely baiting on the ground. He's definitely playing two characters who are ground only characters, right? Mm -hmm. um, so he's not flexing any potential space people here yet. You know, Finn is obviously super strong as a react, Finn grabbing both Sorry about the mess and also Finn being mm -hmm. able to um, add with the two Destiny Destiny Adders, but with 21 cards in hand. I have to assume that somewhere in there, Joe has either a Lana Dubreed or a Gick and Dubreed's chance to escape them. Yeah. React. And so I would think that Greg is having to think really deeply here about whether or not he wants to just play Finn. If he just plays Finn, that's great. Finn's out. He's, you know, really nicely bunkered out. Um, and it's probably a site that Joe can attack. But then that means Finn can't be in space. Right? True. I mean, that, that's Finn's greatest strength is his ability to react. Where yes. They're going. Yeah. But if you know your opponent can't cancel, if you know your opponent's going to cancel the react, um, you know, honestly, I kind of play Finn when I'm playing Legend like he doesn't react, uh, especially if my opponent mm -hmm. has so many cards in hand. And it, yeah. it's just there's so many strong ways to justify to cancel the react nowadays. Um, okay, so he's yeah. just sticking with Chewie and Ray. So I think if you're Correct. Joe, I think you just go down to the, the, the castle. I think you just leave Ray and Chewie alone. Because you don't want Legend to flip. You want him to stay on the yeah. zero side as long as you can. I mean, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think it's only a drain of one. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you basically stop. So if Joe goes to the 2 1 first, okay. So clearly Joe can do whatever he wants. But we're just doing mm -hmm. 21 cards in hand and about to be 26 force. <laughs> and he can yeah. pick, pick, his, pick his poison. Um, so he could easily beat this down. Now, with Greg having 19 True. cards in hand. Greg assuredly has a hoojix of his own. Or maybe mm -hmm. So, Joe could just go to the 2 1, bunker up there, get a drain of 2 going, and a retrieval 1, which means that Greg's next turn has to be going to space. Yeah. Um, and so that might not be a bad idea. So, I think, I again, impossible to say it's not knowing their cards, but I would bet that Joe's best play is to establish a pretty decent stack at the 2 1, but not commit. Anyone who would be good in space. 
True. To not commit a Tarkin, not commit a Barrack, not commit Paul, maybe not even use Callus. Like just five or six dudes, right? Because there's no one, there's not that many great guys left in like deck here um, who could really battle on the ground. With Chewie and Ray yeah. both committed to the two one, you're certainly less afraid of weapon. I guess you know they're still Qui Gon. Um, there's Qui Gon. I mean, uh, there's Ahsoka. I mean, there are characters that can come down and ruin yeah. your day. But you said it. I mean, the biggest character that he's got to worry about is Leia with her gun. <laughs> yeah, I, which, you I, know, I mean, five, you gotta... dude, five dudes out of sight are going to be enough for that. Like, yeah. I think yeah. this is basically a clear sign that he can go for a sight. And if he goes for a sight, um, he gets to drain for two and he flips and he gets to retrieve, um, which means mm -hmm. that, again, that Greg's got to figure something else out, which would be space. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I also agree. I would be very surprised if you wanted to battle here which means he probably is going to which means i'm often wrong in these predictions um but you know firing two weapons flipping legend turning on force projection yep um that's everything just, right there it, yeah it's just like you don't want to do that i mean uh, normally the textbook way to play against legend at least early on was you bunker up right mm -hmm. you don't go until you make it really hard for them to battle now it's why these more recent versions of legend that baroni and uh, the side from playing with are really tough because they're they actually anticipate so it used to be actually that I thought that Court, which is my mm -hmm. favorite dark side deck, um, <laughs> was uh, pretty favored against Legend because Legend players kept attacking the audience chamber. It was really bad. Yeah. Right? Because, like, you give me two turns and two extra icons, I can bunker up really good at the audience chamber. But yeah. then what started happening is that Court players um, realized that the best way to go, or that Legend players realized that the best way to go about this was generally not to attack the audience chamber, but instead just to get to another site, mm -hmm. um, you know, the pit, obviously, to stop court damage, drop BB-8, drop Rose, and say, okay, if you want to battle, find a way to damage me. And especially yeah. if they don't play Jakku, and they don't give up a drain two or three system to court, it's really hard for court to actually get in that much more damage. Mm -hmm. And now you have to battle into them, and that's what Legend loves. Yeah. Um, so funny enough... And I think enough... we saw that when MHT, when Matt beat... Uh, and Matt beat the side twice, basically. Yeah. A bug and get or bugging him. All right, so okay, um, I was wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. And, uh, he's he's going for it. So yeah, he did the two and he's dropping the patrol. So we're gonna see some. Uh, I'm, now, I'm not. I, I guess. I, I think long yeah. game. I think it you, it favors ISB. So. I don't know. Like, I, yeah. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure about this. We. I mean, there's. He did, um, he did, I think so, there's one thing that we should keep in mind here, though, is that he has to win by 17. True. Right, and so he might be thinking that he really needs to like, you know, clear this out basically. But he, his, so his, his biggest problem is right now he, unless he has insane power, he's not going to be able to get rid of those guys, because like you said, he's going to flip. He, uh, Greg's going to flip. He's got. I'm the, not, yeah. He's got. He's going to have the force protection. Yeah. And not only that, um. Joe only well, has one has... card. He only has one card in his reserve deck, so he's only going to draw one destiny, and then it's going to get you know, canceled. Trooper or assault, though. If he drops eight dudes in trooper results, he can easily get. Okay, to that's power. the only. That's the only way I can think about it. Yeah, which I'm sure is what he's doing here. And to be fair, he hasn't committed. He needs to drop a few more guys here, but he can yeah. definitely get to that. He'll get to that. I'm not. Okay, Vader think. comes down. So Vader canceling I mean, Chewie. Yeah. But I mean, Vader's probably going to get hit here too, which is going to retrieve a card for Greg. Actually, no, he. Uh, no, no, he will. He doesn't have coward out. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't have coward out, but he did get the, he did get the free pull from the uh, the, the Luke's health, oh, for, so yeah. he could get still. He's still. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be this will probably be a Hujik battle. Um, yeah, my guess is that what Greg was, well, but Greg will still get the flip, right? So my yeah. guess is that Greg is going to flip. Because really, against high speed, there's no reason not to flip in the first battle because they don't have weapons, so they're not really holding back. Um, so if he gets to flip, and then he gets to set up basically a drain two in space, and then remember that with the castle or with the mass site, he can download an alien over there. True. So if 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 he's throwing all these dudes at one site, you know that gives Greg basically a backup plan to go to to the other two one. Yeah. Um, because you could get like a Han, you could get Chewy again if you have another Chewy. Yeah. So Garrison comes out. Obviously, Garrison will add a Destiny, but Garrison will add a Force Drain. So that's really strong. Mm -hmm. um, so this could be a Drain three set for Joe. I mean, this is this is 
good for Joe in the sense that he is only committing dudes who do nothing in space. And so he still gets to True. hold back with yeah. a, a stout space package. And I like this point by uh, Chris Kelly. Um, Joe might be, like, if Joe's slow playing a monarch here, <laughs> that'd be just if funny. If Joe's slow playing a monarch and hits a who jacks, that would certainly be a moment of speed. Yeah. An interesting thing could be that Greg is using his force pile, which is. He's looking for the Hojix. He's looking for the Hojix. <laughs> he's got, he's looking for it. Uh, I, well, you wouldn't have to look for it. He would know. Well, I guess he would have to look for it because he doesn't. Yeah. That's a lot. Know. That's a lot coming down. This could be something. This could be something. I mean, he's down. Um, he's down by twenty three right now. That's before well, the trooper he's gonna, assault. He's going to trooper assault, so that's going to add another <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, yeah. seven, fourteen to it. So he's yeah, going to so be that's, down uh, by thirty seven 40... at least. If something else yeah. is that. I mean, so this is. We're going to see something interesting happen. Uh, a reacting Finn here will kill Ozel. A reacting Finn here would kill Ozel, yes. Which. <laughs> uh, a, uh, thank you. Thank you, Burn or Bream. Uh, I don't think matters too much. I know. That's just kind of. It's just kind of. Does it? If you cancel the react, it still happen, right? I guess a react doesn't yeah. happen if it's canceled. So. Yeah. Loss of Vader on table and opponent reacts to the same location. So, I think the reacts. Oh my God! Look at all those. those yeah, I mean patrols. he's just going for it. I mean obviously he is hoping that he's not found the Hooja. Um, yeah. I guess we'll have a suspenseful couple of minutes as this battle plays out and we get to see if Hoojix gets found. Man, I would. He really doesn't have a Hoojix, and that was his deploy. Oh my God. You might as well activate that force. <laughs> yeah. Um. But even if Greg does have Hujix, this is quite the stack um, of characters who mm -hmm. wouldn't be used in space anyway. So it still lets Joe have a pretty decent uh, backup of guys if he yeah. wants to return plus Chewie. I mean, that one force is going to allow him now to save uh, the Sorter or the patrol or uh, the, the garrison. Garrison, yeah. All right, so no surprise, we're going to probably see a trooper assault. Give me a second. And he could still potentially grab, like, the Hojix. Wasn't this one of your um, OCS challenges recently? No. Get to uh, a bajillion power? No? The oh, highest power. The highest power. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't think, I don't think anybody got close to that. Like, No, I think uh, someone hit, like, 100-something. Yeah, there was, like, a... It was, a, it was insane. I think it was over 125 power. <laughs> well, assuming we're about to see a trooper assault, that's going to be... 14, so we'll be looking at 53 power. So we do see a flip. Uh, there's some Luke out of play. The flip isn't surprising because obviously he just wants to. There's no reason. There's really no reason not to flip. Uh, in the Sergeant Whale. Yeah. Sergeant Wallen comes I'm down too. Wailing on him with Whalen. Oh my God! Look at that. Sergeant Whalen. More, more uh, salt to the wound here. I just. If there's not a Hujix here, I'll just I'll just be surprised. Yeah. Um, I'll be oh, curious yeah. what Greg's logic was without a Hujix here, because obviously with you know, with a blackjack hand by Joe, one has to assume that he has the capability to do this. So he had a twenty one card hand, now he's down to ten cards. <laughs> okay, so there's the fin. There's a fin. Lena. Which obviously we knew okay, was gonna so... get cancelled. Ozzel does not die. Darn. The... Cancels the... So, so that... We... Oh, you know what? This is nice for... It, yeah, that's, that's Assuming good he doesn't for Greg. lose because of a lack of a hoop. This is very good for Greg, being able to yeah. grab that lot I, I now... think. I think if you're Greg, though, you would have just conceded. Um... Yeah. You could have just... I, could, I don't you know. Almost could have conceded. You might enjoy the... Uh, Giving us some drama here. Yeah. There's Trooper Assault, not surprising. But yeah, so now Joe is going to need to have two Lanas because yeah. obviously he's so committed everything on the ground here that without a second um, 
without a second Lana, it really does give Greg clearance. Now, second Lana wouldn't be surprising just because Lana is very, very good. True. Um, I know if our 20 card in hand has a Hujix. Um, I guess we have to see Ray. Ray will swing at the garrison first, I'm sure. Um, just to turn off that force drain. I mean, action is still on Joe, so. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. I'm not sure what else. Okay, so Ray's going to gonna swing at Wh Whalen. Why not swing at the garrison? Am I missing something? He might not know what his destiny are. Yeah, but... He just, he just average, might want to retrieve the one card. Yeah, but average destiny in Legend is so high. Yeah. Um, there's not like a secret deal promotion on this garrison, is there? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm a little surprised he didn't just do that. Um, so what's the worst that will happen without a Hujix? Well, he's down by 47. He can cover 13 with so... forfeit, and he gets a destiny, and then he also gets a force confession. So let's yeah. generously assume that's a total of 10. He could cover... Okay. So the destiny's a 5. So it's 16. He's down uh, by... You know what? Joe doesn't draw a destiny, so you couldn't force projection from even if you wanted yeah. to. Um, so this is it. We're just going to see. Forty-two. We're going to see Hujix, or we'll see Joe going to Final Four. Suspense. <laughs> okay. So they are. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Probably. Probably telling us there's some Hujix because yeah. one would think yeah. that he would into. Continue doing it. I guess he could lose Chewy in 28, and that's a lot of cards from his hand, but not the game. And there it is. There okay. it is. Never okay. Why didn't Greg swing at the garrison? I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree with you. He should have swung at the garrison. I mean, I yeah, I mean, he knows his destiny. I guess he's really just... He, yeah. he obviously wants to not lose by too much, right? So he wins the match. Yeah. So one force retrieval could matter a lot. But then the percentage play is in some ways the fact that the garrison is adding to a drain. And if it adds to the drain throughout the whole game, um, probably will add up pretty quickly. And so I think you would just have to do some quick math mm -hmm. in your head. It's sort of like, okay, I have, you know, five permutations that make me miss. And, but if the garrison stays alive, I mean, honestly, Greg, you better play than me. So I'm sure you thought this through better, but it feels like it's probably worth to try to sink this one. Yeah. Unless the other option is he might like that Joe has to tie up a force every turn. Because um, now Joe's down to only 12 force and nine cards at hand, right? He threw everything at that site. Um, yeah, obviously that's a good point. That beat down. And so by making him have to pay a force every single turn for Garrison, and that's... obviously, you know, he's going to have to pay for battle order until he gets going. Um, so maybe there might be, you know what? I bet that's Greg's logic. Greg's logic is almost a sure thing. Well, I was going to say, there is a reason why he's still playing. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm not going to question what Greg does. Uh, I, I do like the uh, him baiting and uh, grabbing. Uh, we're wrong. He, um, I'm mistaken. He's not, he's not adding to this right now. Yeah. The, this whole conversation was uh, me being wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Pistone, for pointing this out in the chat. Yeah, he doesn't add to this site. It's so. a pony site. Hi, Beth. But I do like him grabbing the Lana Dobri combo, just because now he won't be able. Uh, he's stuck there. Joe is stuck there. He really can't do much else. I mean, it is a drain of two. Uh, he does have Menace Fades in his deck, so I mean, he is looking like he is. It looks like he's uh, starting to go up. Uh, put all the stuff back into the go up in yeah, space. Yeah, I mean, now so. he can pretty safely go up into space. Yeah. Um, because with only 12 force, I mean, the stalker alone costs eight, right? And so yeah. he's not going to be able to, Joe's not going to be able to commit, um, strong space anytime soon. So now yeah. you can just safely do, yeah, Poe, Untantive, and probably Holdo, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's, now it's a drain two, right? So now he's got himself 
Oh, it was, let's see if the holdout actually comes out. Um, well, if the holdout comes out up oh, there, she is. Yeah, good. Yep. So holdo's there. Poe. I mean, it's a drain of two. Uh, multiple destiny. Yep, drain of two. Multiple destinies. Obviously, he's at the Mustafar um, system, so that if he tries to go at him with, um, you know, you can drop profundity here for mm -hmm. two now, which we obviously have. So he's pretty he's pretty safe up there in space. Um, you know, Joe Joe went strong on the ground, and so not having um, not having used up all of his saved up force there means that it's going to at least take him a couple turns before he could go strongly back into space. Yeah, and like I I think if you're Greg, you can you you have no issues losing the two to the drain here because you're up by sixteen, and being that this is match play, you're not necessarily trying to win the game. You're just trying to not lose by seventeen. Yeah, I always find it fairly difficult in match play to be, um, to kind of work that out mm -hmm. in the sense that, like, in, until it gets close to the end of the game and I can actually see differential, I think generally, now Greg is obviously at a, a higher level than me, but generally when I'm in match play, I just try to play my normal game as much as possible. Yeah. Um, especially with the differential of the 16, like, it, you know, it, that's not impossible to hit. No. Um Okay. It's going to be tough now, though, for um, Joe, I think, because he's got nine cards in hand already, mm -hmm. um, and he's got 26 life force left. And so I mean, he can he only is, he's basically gonna be... draw 10 more cards while taking drains of two to establish some sort of strong presence in, yeah. in space. I think, uh, if you're, I think if you're, um, no, I think if you're Joe, you don't necessarily you don't worry about going to space as long as you can fortify if you can go down and hold the castle like if you can go tarkin and two other dudes like a callus and uh teardom uh, um yeah there he plays the strategic reserve so now he can start canceling that drain he can yep. he can have two sites i mean joe or uh, greg's shield busted right now so um you don't, I don't know, know what shield he would need well, I mean, uh, you he, mean just to get simple tricks to, to yeah he could get people. simple tricks to stop the uh he could do simple tricks that way he can start retrieving with the objective yep and then he can vandalay so he's gonna vandalay and pick up i guess probably just the troll sure well no because you play you play vandalay you take an uh right you can pick up yeah of course yeah. You pick up the patrol so you can stack them and shoot. yeah um, yeah, and there's not really going to be any good way for um, for Minus Fates to turn off strategic reserves. Obviously, they're not going to have an altar. Um, you know, they're not going to have. I mean, does Saw work in space? I think Saw only works on site, anyways. Um, so now Greg really is going to have to probably figure out what to do on the ground. Yeah, and what's um, what sucks for Greg is he just lost the R two. It just lose an R2 from reserve deck. Now, yeah. normally, at least the standard ATOD uh, looking looks like he has the R2. Yeah, he could have the second R2. And if he has the second R2, we could see him come down. Um, come make down the at Gideon. I would say go to Gideon, go to the castle, make that a battleground. As long as it, he. But you can't make the castle a battleground. The, battleground, the castle doesn't have a scompling. Oh, it doesn't have a scompling. That's right. Oh, could you could go to the dock and go to the castle. Um. So Vader goes over to the castle, so he can obviously be repositioned next turn if needed, mm -hmm. especially if, um, depending on where Greg might go. So Greg obviously needs to figure out where on the ground is going to work best for him. Um, you could R2, like, over to the uh, Death Star 2 uh, docking mm -hmm. bed. Just to, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you'd probably rather just go use the tar out of Gideon, especially since he hasn't used the Yeah. Position. Um... I mean, I think a lot of what this game will probably come down to is whether or not Greg, or sorry, Joe, has a second line of duty combo. Okay, so um, there's the simple trick. So he had, yeah. yeah. So now Joe can't retrieve. That's. And Greg is saying, unfortunately, needs to refresh every other action here. So he might be having inter long. internet issues. Yeah, he mentioned that. Um, I think the second. It, this game's going to come down to a second line of debris combo, most likely. Yeah. So, if he doesn't have a second line of debris combo, then Greg can just probably pick up Battleground Sight 
mm. and you know bunker up there. And yes, we haven't seen Tarkin and we haven't seen Callus, but there's such a strong commitment of other guys. And you know, once you get that Tarkin out there, or once you get, let's say, a Ray and a Leia and a BB-8 mm. and a Rose and Solo, like this play by. Joe, I think, is signifying that he's probably not going to try to contest space. And he's just, he's not going to have enough force in a turn to drop a big no. uh, commitment to space, especially with the profundity backup. So it's going to come down to Greg taking a site. And, and while there's some key ISB guys who have not come out yet, like Tarkin and Callus, they're not going to be enough, I think, against let's say Ray and Solo. Well, well um, especially not now only Finn can, yeah. I, I was going to say not only those, I mean, you have characters like, uh, men, Kier, Kanos, those, yep. those aren't in the deck. Like we haven't seen them yet. Um, yeah, it, it comes, but... it also comes down to how many other patrols is Joe playing? Well, we've already seen, we've seen three, three, he probably doesn't play more than four. Do I guess? Mm -hmm. Normally these lists have about, five not unique troopers and three of them are already in play and one is back in his hand yeah um okay. so there is the ray be, yep ray getting put back again um it probably has another ray or at least knows where the other ray is yep okay there's leia oh sorry ray got put back away the ray leia um interestingly if i were greg i might just play thin here These i, I, I don't think you do um, because what what do you really have to worry about? I mean, a gick. I don't think Joe's okay. gonna. I, I don't think a, Joe's going to combo. waste. I don't think Joe's gonna waste a gick combo. Um, I don't think he's in a situation. I guess there's the Gideon that could get beaten down, but mm -hmm. if he has another big, he has thirteen cards again in hand, and he has thirteen force with Gideon making everyone minus one. He could yeah. have one more round of big old beat down coming. Um. And Finn plus two destinies, if he has the destiny adder, mm -hmm. would be enough to avoid having to hopefully not burn a second fugix. But Greg is just drawn, so Greg yeah. is not playing the Finn. Playing the Finn here. Yeah, I, I like what uh, ND Gamer said in the chat. I want to say that's Charlie. Uh, I think that's Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Said in the chat, I, I agree. Like you, put, if you put down Rose, then one Finn goes back in your deck. I mean, that's another, that's another force that goes back into your deck, and you can fish him out again later if you need him. But, yeah, but I think the point that I was trying to consider is that what's the way Greg could lose? Greg could lose if he drops two guys, and then. Because okay. Joe still has 13 cards in hand with getting at the square, suddenly drops six more troopers and trooper assaults again. Um, and he doesn't have a second Fujix. Now he could have a second Fujix. He could have. Um, and, and then you try to react in Finn, hope he can draw two destinies, but you can't because he uh, has the big combo. Yeah. Um, but Greg also has 16 cards in hand and knows these things, so likely he has yeah. something in mind too. I mean, right um, now. I'll both... Okay. I was going to say, right now, both players do have 21 cards left in their life force. Greg has a slight yep. advantage with three. Okay, so there's a Kier. There's a Kier. So, so. I think he's... Interesting that he's do... that Joe's going about it this way just because um, he paid to drain already. Mm -hmm. And so I think if you had a fistful of guys who were ready to beat down, he wouldn't be paying to drain. Yeah. He might just be... I don't know. He might have the second Lana combo. Well, there's another Colonel Wolf. Okay, there's a Wolf. Yep, so Wolf at least gives him back some of the force he needs to pay to drain. Uh, the other thing is, out. he could just throw down these guys and then move Vader over. He might not uh, battle. Yeah, he might. It's a little but, risky because yeah, you know he's got sorry about the mess somewhere in his deck, and now he's free to just play Finn. Mm -hmm. Right. And if he's free to just play Finn without having to worry about it being canceled as react and then draw a couple destinies or play Rose. Yep. That's and, what he's doing. That's all he's doing. That's, what he's doing. that's all he's so doing. He just didn't, didn't have enough to do otherwise, I guess. Well, I mean, he did just activate four more on top of that. So I, I wonder what he was saving. <laughs> I mean, he still has 11 cards in his hand. He's got 10 cards left in his force. You're telling me he has, doesn't have like one or two more guys to throw down? 
Yeah, I don't know. It's really interesting. I mean, we haven't seen Tarkin. We haven't seen Callus. We haven't seen Pole. Like, he definitively. Yeah. I just can't imagine an ISB hand having so many cards. Oh, there's, her there's a here. second. Okay. All right, so let's see. Okay. There's a second Lana. Let's see how he splits up moving. He's going to bring everybody but Vandalay. Everyone over except for Vandalay. You didn't target Vandalay. Now, I don't know if that's if he meant to do that or that's just a misclick. Let's see if we see a revert or not. I guess potentially with Decree and a Gick in hand, and he wants to continue to satisfy yeah. simple tricks, and he doesn't want to put Vandalay in danger. Yeah. Right? So Vandalay still exists to let him keep redrawing. Second line to read strong. Oh, yeah. And, hey, now the and now the Stormtrooper Garrison adds one to a force thing. So. <laughs> uh, as everyone has pointed out in the chat, which is very true, Solo um, would let him get a second prefix. So yes. now the question would be, where do you want Solo to go? Would be a little bit trickier. Well, I mean, you could pull Solo with the site. Uh, the other thing is, like, if Greg has... Well, if you pull Solo with the site and then have to hoojik solo your guys, that's not... Yeah. No, I'm saying what you, uh, what you could do is, and this was first pointed out in the chat, is maybe Greg does have the Odin Esther combo, which he can just move away to yep. the walkway. And if that's the case, then yep. uh, you, you don't care about that Doomstack. I mean, that Doomstack is going to be draining for three. So. Yeah, but if, if he does have the Odin Nestler combo, that's going to be probably, to be honest. Because then at that point, when can't, Joe can't possibly have three yeah. Wanda Dupree combos. Um, and so, yeah. yes, he'll be draining for three with um, the garrison, which is adding to a drain. I'm glad that I, uh, this Pistone fellow was quite angry at me as I believe his, uh, his way. I, I will um, say this. If you're Dro, as soon as you see Solo come down, do you cancel his game text? So that way he can't uh, play the Hojix? If he really were to just put Hojix at that 2-1 with the intention of losing those three guys, then yeah, I guess yes for well, sure. I mean, if he not only, not only down that, the, I mean, he would he's... enforce her, stops the destiny, stops the yeah. But um, yeah, and that might just be a desperate move that Greg basically has to do if he doesn't have the Odin combo here. Well, Chris Kelly is saying solo bit attentive. I'm saying that if he doesn't have solo in hand and has to use the two one site download mm -hmm. solo. What I'm saying is that if he's in a desperate situation where he needed... Right, he can't deploy Solo to that site. Oh, right. Sorry, that's right. You can't Hujik Solo off the game. Sorry about that. That's right. Because he, Solo would be dead. Yep, he's dead. Revealing all of my uh, weak plays here. <laughs> uh, the other thing we could see Greg do is if he has the Odin Nestler, he could move the Ray and Leia over to the walkway so that way he satisfies mm -hmm. coward yep. maybe he starts to spread because like maybe we could see him go down to the Where castle is he spreading to i mean we'd still have to find an r2 oh no i'm, I, I I'm saying think... he as long as he satisfies her coward he could start going to like the castle or the docking bay yeah but the only way he's gonna get to those sites would be with an r2 i guess r2 doesn't turn on the castle if he has no. the odin combo he's just gonna want to go to the 2-1 and then start doing legends thing of being bunkered up with yeah. bb8 and rose probably and then you know he'll just try to burn through strategic reserves with a couple of drains yeah um Now, the other thing is, Joe's ahead on time by, like, almost nine minutes. I, I know there's 24 minutes yeah, left for I Joe. Yeah, like okay, Greg's Greg, internet issue but... is not going to end up deciding the game. Yeah. Uh, the Jokers brings up a good point that he could shuttle. So there's Solo to that 2-1. Mm -hmm. Okay. So still doesn't tell us if this is going to be Solo in order to Hujix or if it's going to be Solo to be backed up with an Odin combo to really lock down that site. No. Solo versus Vandalay wouldn't really be a good battle because obviously Greg or Joe at that point would decree in order to um, yeah. draw the and clear solo, which that's gonna be tough. Okay, there's a Bail Organa. 
Interesting. Bill Organa. Um, obviously, he doesn't expect him to go to space. Bill yeah. and a rose. Okay. So Bale here might. So it might now Bale. a battle could make sense because he could battle yep. Woo's Bale basically as the four foot fodder mm-hmm. and then have a drain two with Rose retrieval set up. And it forces him to burn the decree. You get to retrieve a force with General Leia. So this is obviously clearing up bail. So now our question just basically becomes whether or not there's an Odin combo to get Leia and Rey over the 2-1 or if his goal is to um, do Jix. Also, this is nice because it is going to force um, uh, Jodo to just lose another force. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Cancels the Kalos for a redraw into a Jessen. Nope, so that into a redraw, that? just keeping his hand nice and loaded as this ISB deck does. Oh. <laughs> so now he has to either yeah, he has uh, to take that. heal a couple for Yeah, he'll just lose a couple of fours. Well, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't get to it if he wasn't redrawing the other one. Uh, he's only going to lose two here, so that's not... Yep, only has to lose two. Yep, that's yeah. Yeah, Bill, that's that's Lana combo grabbed. Um, so the first Lana combo was grabbed to, when it canceled the React. Obviously, that was when there was a Doom stack versus um, a Trooper Assault Beatdown versus Ray and Chewie. And mm-hmm. then the second one got obviously stacked when then uh, Joe used it to move his guys over to the uh, Mario Bros. Capital Fund. The anti chamber. Okay. You know, and things are getting tight for Joe here in the sense. That obviously, you know, he's now down to 18 life force. Okay, so um, he'll lose a docking bay and, docking bay from hand. and a second strategic reserve. And this is really so. two strategics, wow. So he was really, he's probably really putting, um, really putting Greg on either throne room or legend. Um, he did not expect him to have no idea because mm-hmm. he cheese reserves. There's nothing, there's no idea that's possible. Okay, so Greg is just drawing, which means that Greg definitely has. Um, well, no, he's not drawing. No, does yet. not have. Oh, he's not drawing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. He's yeah, he, he did the uh, the objective. Oh, okay. If, if he has the Odin combo here, then. Well, there I it think. Is. Yep. There it is. So Odin yeah, combo. He gave, he gave himself an extra force by putting that one card on his. Uh... Well, he might have been hoping that one of those was like a one, right? So. It was... Yeah. Probably more ideal if he had seen a five and a one with the legend. Well, still happily paid five to get his guys out of there. Yep. Welcome to Star Wars twenty twenty. <laughs> God. So now we're now Joe is in a really. Tough oh place. yeah, and Charlie makes a good point. <laughs> if there was a dark time there, that would have sucked. Uh, he had one force though, and Joe is conceded. That's game, everyone. Okay. Yeah. I think at this point, yeah, there's really nothing that Joe could do to win by the 17 because, it, I mean, even though he did have the stalker and everything, he just, it was too much of a challenge for him to go down to space. Yeah, no, I mean, it, I think that the way Joe went for it made the most sense. I and mean, he needs to win by 17 force. Um, that's tough especially when ISP's yeah. putting so many cards in play. And so, obviously, he probably saw that there was going to be a Hujix, or assumed that there was going to be a mm-hmm. Hujix in the first battle, but was probably hoping that the Lana combo would let him then walk down the next one. But, of course, you yeah. know, Legend always has Solo for the second Hujix. You know, it's tough, because I think ISP versus Legend is a pretty good matchup. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's really interesting, and in that if ISB can play a normal game, I think it can, it can win. Um, but it's just really hard for it to win by seventeen. Okay. So, so, so we have, we have, we have our Shaw first, our, um, our finalist. In yeah, the he's the first one. Uh, so I know uh, Tuesday and then Wednesday we'll see MHT versus Kessling. Uh, I know you're rooting for Kessling as he's your one of your teammates. 
Yes, for sure. Um, uh, so, you know, Matt seems like a good guy, but yes, I'd be pretty excited if it was a uh, if it was Mike versus uh, Mike versus Greg. Yeah. Finals, do you uh, but... do you have any insight for us on that? Uh, for what uh, Mike is thinking about deck wise? No, I don't. So <laughs> as I know, Matt is especially uh, watching this. So. <laughs> That's fair. That's all good. All good. So yeah, no we'll, idea. Uh, what I'm saying. I would say he's probably planning some uh, what Indio Misasi based operations. <laughs> uh, would be a, would be a sweet one for Dark. Uh, one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be an interesting it's one. DBO. 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 Yes, not DBO. If uh, if he's playing DBO, <laughs> uh, that would be more of a shock, and I don't think MHT could. Uh, uh, come back from uh, seeing that being played. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, but, congratulations to Greg uh, yep. for making the finals. And um, yeah, okay. uh, well played by both both guys. Yes. Definitely some interesting games the last couple of days. And uh, looking forward to looking forward to watching uh, Mike and Matt later this mm -hmm. week. Okay, so we'll have uh, more to come with that, and then uh, we'll be signing off now. So good night, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you later.